All right. Time for more Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Today is going to be a normal, normal day. First step is for me to remember what buttons to press. Oh yeah, I remember. I fixed the town. I was doing quests. Um... Did I do all my quests? Yes. Yes. I did all the side quests. So now I just need to do the main quest. So I need to go to seek some help from Zinnia, east of Amber Woods. And I need to go to the Uncanny Valley north of Amber Woods. So both ways I need to go through Amber Woods no matter what. I'll go east first. The question is, where do we go? Do I need to go? Maybe I need to go east actually from not here, but from up here. Okay, yeah, it says east and west. Very helpful. <laughs> so I need to go east. Cool snake and bloom beast appears. Oh yeah, I forgot. Last time Melody and Allison had a bit of a fight, and now now I can't do all my magic stuff. Or at least I can't kiss Allison. So I need to kiss me. So many kissy. Can I kiss Beverly? I can kiss Beverly now. Everyone can get kisses except me. <laughs> me and Allison. Melody and Allison. They're, uh, they're a little awkward place right now because I made the wrong decisions. <laughs> I made a decision to not talk about my feelings, and that was the incorrect decision. Let's do... Let's do a dive bomb to really smack it. Um... And froth would be effective against it because it's all flowery. So if I need to go east, I probably should go this way. Okay, yeah, it says this way is east. So I go this way. Oh, wasn't there a magic door? Took me to a resting? Whoa, what was this? Who's the sleepy guy? Oh yeah, that guy. He's always here. I've heard he's been here as long as anyone can remember, actually. No idea what his deal was, but people call him the Dream Knight. Is he okay? Should we help him or something? Maybe someone up in the valley knows more about him. The area is a magnet for people interested in ancient magic. Yeah, that guy just kind of stays there. Um, we can't go that way. Wasn't there like a break room here? Or am I incorrect? I just know this can teleport you to different places. I guess we don't need to teleport anyone right now. Well, 
What's over here? Oh yeah, this was a- wasn't this where the bird was? Right. And then I found these chests and then there's a warp pad. Okay, never mind. I don't need to go there. That's fine. That's all explored. This must be the gate fate told us about. I, uh, don't see a keyhole, though. Is this gate welded shut? It's magically sealed. Try holding out the key. Oh, nice. Onward to Zinnia's place. She lives in the mountain, huh? Oh, huh. Guess it's gonna be a bit of a hike to get to Zinnia's place. She sure does live out of the way. Well, Faith told me she tends to keep to herself. Wise old sorcery masters are just like that, I suppose. Alright. Well, let's see where she may be hiding herself. There's a rope here. But I want the chest. Mega potion. Heck yeah. I have so many items I have not used. I want to see what we can find in the cave. Stone crabs and a little wisp. That guy is T posing at me and it makes me uncomfortable. I like that they can just summon their girlfriends. <laughs> their girlfriends are not even here. They just bring them over for a quick kissy. Hello, Foxclaw. Welcome to the stream. Ooh. Interesting. Righteous blow. Let's do multi-frost. And, um, I will do first aid. Ow. I think I can still use my healing magic. leaving the science behind it, not the actual superstition belief. The science of fortune telling? What do you mean by that, Foxclaw? Hey, welcome, Amudi. Welcome, welcome. It's locked. Okay, so I need a key. can't get up there. Why can't I swim across? Um, let's see. Nope. Maybe? Maybe? Yes? Yes? Perfect. Wait, none of us can wear this helmet. What? Why not? Because it's for minors and we're all adults. Allison, how did I know that was a joke you're gonna make? Am I a dog or cat or hamster? Me? Um, none. I mean, I'm a ringtail cat. Although, technically, I'm closer related to a raccoon than a cat. Have you ever noticed when you get a card reading and some tellers just ask you questions like, What do you see here? How does this card make you feel? Ow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Thank you. Thank you, Suki, for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's do it actually, though. Let me see. I'll make Allison wear it since she made the terrible joke. Good night, my moody. And thank you for the pat pat halo. This is actually good for boosting defense and magical defense, but... Maybe for Jody, It's slightly better than what she has. You want a second good night? Good night, my moody. By the way, sorry guys if my voice sounds a little low. My allergies hit me really hard this morning and my throat is still a bit sore. The cards are, and the way you react to receiving the card and listening to your body language to deter how they continue with that reading. Oh, I see. That makes sense. I will say that some people who do fortune telling, I think that there's some people who are, I don't know, maybe more attuned to it. <laughs> My friend gives me scarily accurate readings. <laughs> Do I draw humans? I do draw humans. I've done human art before. That's actually what I uh, mostly drew before... Honestly, right before I started streaming. When I started streaming art, I started to draw furries more. It's weird. <laughs> well, actually, not, not right when I started streaming art, but like a little bit before that. Before I decided to start streaming it. Well, a lot of my old art is not of furries, actually. Either full humans, maybe they have like animal ears or something on occasion, but otherwise full humans or full animals or creatures. Never, never furries. The closer you are to a person, the more accurate the readings get. Yeah, that does, that does make sense since, you know, they already have like a preconception of stuff and whatnot. Probably doesn't help my throat that I'm just drinking soda. I think maybe at my next break I will get coffee. That might help me. <laughs> but it's fine. Coffee, let's go! Yeah! I could definitely use it. I did not- I think my other problem is I did not have coffee this morning. That was my mistake. Oh, I can't do my, my special paladin power thing to restore mana. Ugh, that's so annoying. It was my favorite thing to do. I got moonshine. <laughs> oh, and a starfruit. Nice. It was a mimic. Ah, oh. wait, it's cute. Chester, look at this cutie. I can't fight this. I'll just kiss. Oh, Allison's hurt though. Okay, Allison will attack it. Allison will not hold back, but everyone else will kiss. Well, except me, because I'm still not kissing people. All the dangers and best stuff in life is cute. That's true. Dangerous. Dangerously cute. The cuter something is, the more dangerous it is, because then you'll be so distracted and unable to kill it. Love 
Like Ricky, yeah. You know what, I think Ricky just got my allergies. That's why he's being so weird today. Damn it, I thought I could kill it. <laughs> I did a reading for a person who was just so excited to get her first reading, but when I pulled the card out to do with forgiveness, she instantly went blank, so I knew from her change in body language she had past issues that she had not forgiven herself or someone for wronging her that she can't move on to a brighter future. I mean, that's sometimes the thing with fortunes is like... Sometimes you need a little courage to make a decision about something. And that's why you go seeking out fortunes in the first place, right? Hey Darius, welcome, welcome. <laughs> How are you doing? We're ki yes, I am kissing all the girls. The only girl, on ironically, that I'm not kissing is my girlfriend because she's still we're still having a little bit of an argument. I'm hoping my goal for today is to kiss my girlfriend to again, though. We have to work through our problems so that I we can kiss again. It's very important. I will not let anything get in the way of love. I just want, I just want us to be, to be on good terms again. Ooh, a lunar wand. That sounds fancy. Oh my god. It's a mole cart. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. I have to take a screenshot of this. Really, it's really important that I take a picture of the, the mole car. <laughs> Sorry, I just missed a Gert. <laughs> we, even, we were watching this, like, really funny series on Netflix that was, like... I think it's also called Molkar, which is why I recognize the name. It's really cute and funny, and you guys should look it up if you have Netflix. It's so, it's so good. Which ones are my Gia? Allison. Allison, the, the, the butch rabbit. She is our GF. She is the one that we have to work things out with. Everyone else, though, can kiss their girlfriends. Like, Jody can kiss her girlfriend. Um, Claire can kiss her girlfriend. It's just me. Me and Allison cannot kiss each other. It's tragic. The fox? No, no. Or, oh, which one is me? Yes. Melody, the fox is me. You can tell because, um, we're both, we're both very pink and we also love our girlfriend so much and very gay. Everyone here is gay, actually. That applies to everyone. That makes it confusing. Um... I got the big pointy ears. <laughs> Melody picked the worst option in partnership. What do you mean she picked the worst part option? <laughs> what do you mean? My girlfriend is the best. We're just we'll just we'll work through it. We just have to work through it, that's all. Ah god Claire. Claire keeps almost dying.
Okay. Oh yeah, Lunar Wand. Let me see what that can do. Well, she already has a Lunar Wand, so that's not <laughs> gonna help me. What about me? Do I want a Lunar Wand? Mmm... It would increase my magic. My only other attack, other than all my healing, is Gust, and that's otherwise, like, mm, I don't know. I like my gauntlet because it can give me defense, so I think it's fine. I think I'm good. I can't do any magic that's damaging anyway. Wow, that harpy looks awesome. Mwah! Mwah! God, why does everyone attack Claire all the time? There. Now you're safe. Oh my goodness. There you go. Ah, the feather arrows, Jesus. Oh god, I have like no MP left. fine. We're fine. Nice counter, Allison. There we go. Now we're getting it. I could just also not fight things. <laughs> but where'd the fun in that be? You won't catch us, I juked you. This must be the place. Do you know anything about Zinnia, Jody? Not much. Fates brought up having a mentor named Zinnia a few times, but we never met. And I don't think she uses social media. Fates a good judge of character, though. Any friend of hers is a friend of mine. Oh, wait, I didn't open that big door. Did I even get the key? Ah! Oh! He Hello! Oh my god, I love her. Hello? Hi, is, is Zinnia home? You're speaking to her. Oh, where are my manners? You must be Fate's friends. Hold on just a sec. I know, look at her look at her glasses. They're so cute. I love her round glasses. Oh, she shrunk. No, go back. <laughs> Here there we go. Sorry for startling you like that. I was just stretching. No, understandable. You, you do you do what you want. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. She's my favorite character now. <laughs> I get all stiff if I don't morph back to full size every now and again. I also forget sometimes that most folks don't run into dragons every day. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Oh, come in, come in. It's chilly out here. I'll make us some tea to warm up. I love her. Oh, let me look at my bag. Did I even get a key? No, I didn't pick up a key. So maybe maybe I go back to the vault later. World needs more tall and nerdy, nerdy girls. True. True that. I, I didn't know I needed a big nerdy dragon until today. And now I need more big nerdy dragons. 
We probably shouldn't track dirt over this handmade dragon-sized quilt. Oh yeah, that would be that would be rude of us. Oh wait, no, the other way. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's her bedroom. Ooh, nice place. We probably shouldn't gawk at Zinnia's stuff before we even say hello. Yeah, okay, that's fair, that's fair. Let's, uh, let's take some seats at the table. Nice to meet you, Zinnia. My name's Jody, and this is... Oh, there's no need for introductions. Fates told me all about you four for over the years. Especially you, Jody. I hope you realize how crazy she is about you. Yeah, we are pretty gay. They are pretty gay for each other. Tea, anyone? Oh, thank you. I was <laughs> just thinking, I hope this restores my health. I know that you're here on a mission, but we don't need to rest. I don't get to meet new people often these days. So you're Fate's mentor? That I am. I've tutored many a guardian over the years, and Fate's the latest. I don't come across bright young spellcasters like her often. She's really something special. Wait, we don't get a new guardian all that often. How old are you exactly? Allison, it's Ruta. Oh, about a thousand, give or take. Dragons live a long time. Wow, you don't look a day over 800. <laughs> Thanks, Allison. Ah, I like this one. You must be Allison. And I would make you... Melody. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's me. I hear you started training as a healer recently. And on a team with your girlfriend, no less. <laughs> that may be a bit of a sore subject right now. How's that going? Great! It's fine. <laughs> it's, uh, it's going. I see. And you must be Claire. Yeah, I bet Fate's told you all about me. She has. She tells me you're very passionate about your magic studies and that you're always looking to challenge yourself. You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago, actually. She was a great witch herself. Anyway, we can get down to business in a moment. For now, make yourselves at home. Alright, well now we can go look, look at all her stuff. This is a really solid collection of magic books, but I feel like I'm desensitized after seeing the library in the Guardian's vault. Faith lets you into the vault? I'm not sure that we even make it into the top 10 weirdest things that have happened to us this week. Wow, sick DVD library, Zinnia. You big movie buff? Well, I don't know if I'm an expert, but I do have a nice little collection. As you can imagine, living for centuries and centuries gives you a lot of time to kill. Books are great and all, but I was so excited when home video became a thing. I just started grabbing all sorts of stuff so I'd have things to watch. I'm also kind of a sucker for cheesy romance, so I snatched up many box sets of all these long sitcoms and soap operas. Admittingly, streaming has kind of made them useless. No way, a nice collection is still a nice collection. Oh wow, one of Fate's paintings. Cool to see one of these out in the wild. That was a solstice gift. Faith thought it would be nice to do a little exchange. In return, I made her a sweater. So that's where she got that holiday sweater from. I didn't think it was her style. Not that I think it's tacky or anything. Oh, you don't have to sugarcoat it. Those things are supposed to be tacky. That's half the fun. Sweet record player. I wish our guild HQ was half as cool as this place. Well, you four are always welcome to visit. You might want to be careful about making offers like that to Claire. Just ask our local librarian. Nice TV. Zinnia, who is this giraffe you have all these photos of? Is that her girlfriend? Huh? I think I've seen them in Greenridge before. Funny that they look just like you, though. Wait, is she the giraffe? That's because it is me! Wait, what? How many forms do you have? Enough to suit my needs. Shapeshifting is a natural ability all dragons are born with. We tend to stand out at full size, and it's not always desirable. This is the time I use this form, but in public, I'll often go giraffe mode so I can blend in with the beast folk. You know, that, that makes sense, actually. I was like, 
she and a giraffe would be cute because they're like similar stature. And I'm like, oh wait, no, it's, it's her. <laughs> yeah, she is the best snack though. She's my favorite. <laughs> Why not just go like this? I have my reasons. Again, I'd rather not stand out, and you don't see dragons every day here in the Beast Kingdom. Hold on. I totally waited on you and giraffe form a piggly's once. That you did. I do try to drop by Green Ridge from time to time so I don't become a total hermit. I probably should have known something was up when you tipped with 900 year old gold coins. Yeah, Claire, you should have known. This is a really solid collection of- oh, but, wait, same thing. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Flower? Oh. Wow, you have a lot of magic degrees. Are most of these honorary or something? Oh no, they're all real. But that's not too hard to do when you've been alive for a thousand years. I like to keep my magic knowledge up to date, so every couple decades or so, I enroll at a different magical school to see what's new in academia. Naturally, though, I'll go in disguise to get the genuine experience. I don't want any special treatment. What if you made friends with your classmates, though? Does living a double life ever get in the way? Oh, if I end up making new friends, I just let them know the truth after graduation. The look on their faces is always priceless when they find out I've been a giant dragon the whole time. <laughs> I'm guessing this is her room and we can't go in there. You can see that room later. I still need to make some preparations. Okay. What about this room? I don't think you have any business in my bedroom. Oh, my bad. Wait, this place is a bedroom? I thought you slept out by the front door. Oh no, that's just where I go when I want to laze about in my natural form. It's the only part of the cave where a full-sized dragon will fit. But most days, I just stay like this, so I have regular be a regular bedroom, too. That makes sense. What about out here? What's out here? Okay, no. Alright, we looked around. We looked around. What, uh, what, uh, what do we do now? Ready to get down to business? Or do you think you looking around? Let's get serious! Now then, let's get down to it. Faye told me there's a situation you need help with, but she didn't give me any specifics. She just said my knowledge of ancient magic would help. Right, it's a... Uh, well, it's a pretty extraordinary situation. I imagine. Fate doesn't need me to get involved often. Don't worry about me, though. I still spry by dragon standards. I've hardly aged a day since I hit 30. Man, where do you even begin? Okay, I'll just rip the bandage off. We're here to ask if you can fight the goddess of magic. <laughs> just this, just, uh, just that. <laughs> Sorry, I must have misheard you. One more time? We've been challenged to a fight by the goddess of magic. You probably know her as Fortuna, but her name is really Verena. This can't be... I know. We're sorry, it's a lot to ask of someone. Um, she looks like she's very serious right now. Maybe she knows more than... Then you think, Jody. No, no, no. I don't think you understand. I knew Verena. What? Are you sure it was her? Describe her. Uh, well, she had long purple hair that kind of sparkles, and it is her. God. I wish Faith had been more specific in her letter. Oh, this must have been the witch friend she was talking about. I guess she had no way of knowing the details, though. That's a part of my past I've tried my best to bury. I just don't understand. Verena's back? After all this time? How? And she's threatening Greenridge? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the, <laughs> the shortcut. I see. So she wants her magic back. Do you have an idea why she might feel that way? I do. Look, this won't be easy for me, but I have some things I have to explain. Alright. A little over a thousand years ago, long before Green Ridge was founded, I lived here on Sapphire Islands. There weren't many people here at the time, and I enjoyed the peace and quiet. I had a humble life, living off the land. Then one day, out of nowhere, Verena appeared. A 
was so cute. <laughs> I was very shy back then in general, but I was especially shocked by Verena. I had never seen a human before, for one thing. But even though she had never met a dragon before, she didn't look at me like I was a monster. And more importantly, she could do magic. You mean you couldn't? Even as a dragon? No, we dragons may be special, but we're still technically mortal. And sorcery was the art of the gods back then. I could naturally shapeshift and breathe fire like any dragon can, but I couldn't cast spells. Marina said she'd been to many worlds and seen many types of magic. She was as surprised as you are that I couldn't do any. Her reverie was a world full of magic, she said. Every plant, every animal, everything down to the smallest pebble. I asked her if she could teach me a spell or two. She thought it could be dangerous. She needed a place to stay, so she stayed here with me. I kept asking if she'd teach me magic. Eventually, I wore her down. She realized, though, that I didn't have enough mana to cast spells. So to help me, she performed a little ritual to boost my mana levels. I'm pretty sure that made me the first mortal spellcaster in the history of Reverie. This must be the same ritual that uh, Claire used on me and Allison. I was far from the last, though. Word got out that Verena was able to teach mortals how to cast spells, and it didn't take long for people to start lining up for lessons. Everything felt like it moved so quickly over the next few years. Verena built a tower to call her home. Then we built a small magic school to the north and started talking, taking on students. I had picked up on Verena's lessons pretty quickly, so I helped her out with the teaching. But before long, a rumor started spreading. People started calling her the goddess of magic. So wait, is Verena a goddess or not? It's a reason people call her that. Whether or not she's one of the original gods of Reverie, she's as powerful as one. She's not to be taken lightly. There's something I don't understand, though. Sounds like Verena was getting along so well with Reverie. So what happened next? Why is she looking for revenge and trying to take away her magic? Verena didn't leave by choice. There was an incident. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you more, but it's a particularly painful memory for me. One I've spent a better part of a thousand years repressing. I don't know what happened to her in the centuries since then, and I have no idea who this Jabba's character she's traveling with is. But that incident a thousand years ago is definitely why she's so bitter about Reverie. Well, what is it? <laughs> and it's also why I can't face her. What? Zidia, you have to tell us! <laughs> Everything that happened, it was all my fault. Meeting Verena was one of the best things that ever happened to me, but to her, meeting me and giving me magic only caused her pain. I could try, but I'm sure it would only make things worse. She has every right to be mad at me after the hell she's been through. Zarya! <laughs> and even if that wasn't the case, Verena was... She was a dear friend of mine. I know, I'm I'm trying to figure what's going on, Zinnia. What happened? <laughs> oh, Sacco, I understand. I could never fight her. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so so sorry. I know you came here looking for my help with this, but this is a battle I can't fight for you. I can't apologize enough for being unable to help with Verena, but... Well, Faith also told me in her letter that you four needed guidance. And I've never been one to turn down a pupil in need. I can see for myself what she meant by that. You seem... lost. So I'd like to propose a little special training. It's the least I can do after you came all the way out here. Sorry, but I don't know if all the training in the world could help us face Verena. I know. But whatever your roles are in this, I don't think you're ready just yet, physically or mentally. And while in times when I feel powerless, I try to focus on the things I can do instead of what I can't. And what I can do is teach. I mean, sure. I guess. Not like we got any better ideas, right? Sure. 
Fine. I'm in, I suppose. Excellent. As a little warm up, I'm running low on the special dragonberries I used to make my dragonberry tea. You four can help me gather some of the mountains while I make preparations back here. Hey, Fakazoo! Is your baby girl Jody doing okay? Are my little lesbians at their top performance? I think Jody and Claire. No, probably Jody, honestly. Jody is probably the most okay right now out of every everyone here. Everyone is having issues right now except Jody. Jody is fine. She can kiss her girlfriend everywhere now. <laughs> Jody's got it put together. <laughs> Let's try to turn this visit into a productive one in spite of everything else. I'll meet you in my backyard whenever you're ready to head out. Just like God intended. Alright, I guess we're gonna go collect berries and... God, what happened? I wish Zinnia would just tell us. Jeez, it's freezing out here. How is it this cold in the middle of summer? We are high up in the mountains. But also the climate in certain areas of the island is dictated more by magic than by the seasons. Marina and I may have had a hand in that. Okay, hold on. Be prepped for this. Everything, everyone hold still for a second. Oh, did you just make us winter gear? Much better. Jody, I told you to pick a cold weather outfit. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. It's not that cold. <laughs> okay, Jody. It's literally snowing. Relax, I've dealt with worse. You have any idea how cold Brightport gets in the winter? Fine, fine. Jody is definitely about. Jody is like, I got this. Nothing. I'm fine. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> well, let's head out. Right. First, I think it'd be best if we split off into pairs. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay then. Melody and I will. I mean, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I'm the teacher here. Allow me to make the teams. I sense some tension within the group. You've all been under a lot of pressure lately, and I think you could use some room to breathe. Perhaps some time apart on this little wilderness sab sabbatical will allow you to see things from a different perspective. Jody is my comfort character. I wish I had her optimism. <laughs> we all need a Jody in our life. A Jody to keep us up, keep us going. <laughs> okay, Scooby Gang, you know what time it is. Oh no, what's I'm I'm scared. Allison, you should go with Jody. And Melody will go with Claire. Divide up your equipment if you need to, then let me know when you're ready to go. I think we're good on equipment. <laughs> Ready to split up? Remember, it's Allison with Jody and Melody with Claire. I uh guess we're ready. Oh, I probably should have asked her what if we need to heal. Well, it's fine. I'm a healer. <laughs> Let's split up, gang. I finally realized what Foxy was saying. <laughs> I'm always on top of the jokes. Alright, well that looks like dragon berries already. Was that it? So, hey. You've been awful quiet lately. I'm a pretty quiet person. <laughs> always three steps ahead, that's true. Maybe, but not like this. You barely said a thing all day. Are you... doing okay? What? Look, I know something happened with you and Allison. You can talk to me about it if you want. Are you, like, cool with Allison acting like nothing's wrong between you two? Should I not be? You tell me. No, I don't want my girlfriend to sulk. I don't want to bring the whole team down with me. I'd rather just focus on the mission and try to make myself useful here. Besides, I know Allison's going through her own crap right now. She's just better at hiding it around you. Sorry, I didn't mean to prod. Let's just look for more berries. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> Alright, let's see. A snow batman? Snow Batman? 
Where's Snow Robin? <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Um... Oh, I had a way to restore MP. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, okay, let's do resilient. <laughs> Kiss Beverly while you're here. I meant to go with my Scorch again. I have to remember that it doesn't default to the last attack you did. It's too bad. Okay, so I can go... Oh, okay, there's no way to go this way. But there is money! Bushy-tailed bandit EX. He's got an extra sharp knife. Ah, I forgot to kiss Beverly! There has to be a kiss in every fight. <laughs> You just buried Coda in sheets. <laughs> ah, there's another one! Oh god. They stab so hard. Thankfully, I'm a healer. Looks like you brought a knife to a kiss fight, little squirrel. <laughs> Make love, not war. <laughs> kissy kissy, don't killy killy. <laughs> Ain deer. That doesn't look fun. That's Enma. What happened to your eyes? Enma is looking pretty creepy. stole my gold. <laughs> I think Enma needs a doctor or an exorcist or both. I'm going I'm going to go with both. No one needs to specialize in both being a doctor and an exorcist because sometimes you just don't know if it's that you're being possessed by a demon or being possessed by germs. A super warm scarf. Hmm. Where does that go? Ah, uh, protects from freezing status effects. Also super cozy. Oh, right there. There's some berries. More dragon berries, please. I can tell you what happened if you still want to know. Of course. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but... No, I don't mind. Allison said she wanted to quit. Oh. Does she still want to quit? I don't know. I mean, I can't blame her if she thinks she won't stand a chance against Verena. I'm not sure anyone would. 
It's not that. It's me. I know she wouldn't feel this way if it wasn't for me. I'm holding her back. She wanted to let you and Jody go on ahead to Green Ridge without us when we were leaving the desert, too. She had her doubts about me, and they were all confirmed by that stupid breakdown I had. That doesn't sound like the Allison I know. She always seemed like your biggest cheerleader, too. Sorry, I'm just rubbing salt in the wound. If there's anyone you should be mad at, it's me. Don't blame Allison. Let's just keep going. Alright guys, before we continue onward, we're going to take a quick break. So, sit back, relax, or get up the new stretchies, get a drink. I'm going to get some coffee for myself, so I might might be a bit longer than five minutes, but uh, somewhere around that. Um, but anyway, BRB guys, we'll need to toast ourselves up for this cold weather. See you soon! <laughs> 